welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Merry Mickmas video. Today's video we are going to be getting organized for the holidays and a lot of these things you might have already thought of because it is December now obviously but if you haven't hopefully you find this video helpful and it gets you all prepped and ready and excited for the holidays. I know that even just like making this list made me excited so that just shows you what kind of person I am. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications because you are not gonna wanna miss all the videos I'm posting this month. I have so many planned and I'm just really excited, but let's go ahead and jump in to see how you guys can get organized for the holidays. Tip number one I have for you guys is not to buy any seasonal decor until you pull out what you already have because I feel like every time the holiday season comes around, you're in the shops, you're like, oh my god, I want to buy everything. So guys, we're in the, the best store ever. We are at HomeSense. I feel like that's something that I need to implement. I haven't done it this year yet. I feel like to get a jump start on things. You really want to save some money and not buy decor I don't need, if that makes sense. So that is my first tip and will hopefully save you money. But also, when you do pull out all your things and you notice that maybe you're missing a reindeer, you can go buy that and then it's like really exciting. Tip number two is to make a master list of all the people you need to buy gifts for this holiday season, but also you can make a list of people you maybe want to try and get together with, go get coffee, go get brunch, um, people you haven't seen in a while and maybe are thinking of during the holidays. This is a really great time to organize that and make some plans and everything. But personally, I just love having a master list so I know when I do buy a gift, I can like write it down and then cross it off and then I know that person is thought of and that's pretty much it. I love planning out what I'm gonna buy for other people too, so I find this really fun and good to do at the beginning of the holiday season. Tip number three is to research all of the craft sales and the markets and the holiday event type things that are going on in your city. I know for Vancouver, we have so many different holiday markets. We have the one that's downtown, the Christmas market. We also have one that's in Langley that's like a, a glow kind of indoor thing. There's just so much happening in the community going on this month and it's just so much fun. So having those, planned ahead of time and know that you're going to go attend them or maybe get a discounted ticket or something because you planned ahead is really smart and it's also just really fun to plan those kind of things with friends and family and I just always have such a good time at all these so I want to attend all of them. Tip number four is if you are traveling home for the holidays to book your travel plans well in advance which you're kind of cutting it down to the wire now so hopefully you do all have your travel plans home but flights and anything else really do skyrocket in price when it comes close to the holidays, so getting those planned early is really important if you want to make it home. The next tip I have is very similar to having a holiday gift master list, but this one is for holiday cards. So I personally send out so many holiday cards. I love it. I love sending out mail and I think it's really fun and special and not a lot of people do it anymore, but I do. And so I like to have a master list of all the people I want to send a card to as well as their address. So I know when I go to buy my holiday cards this year, how many to buy for and also just like having all of the names and addresses in one place is really, really easy, keeps everything organized and you also want to make Make sure if you are taking a holiday picture that you do it at the head or at the beginning of the month that way you can include it in your card and get those sent off so you don't have to worry about it and they are there before Christmas. Of course we all get super busy during the holiday season so it's really smart to make some plans ahead of time with your friends or the people that you do want to see and of course you can go to the Christmas markets like I mentioned and everything or you can keep it super low-key and do like a movie night with your friends and have everyone come over and decorate Christmas cookies or go ice skating if you like that I personally don't like ice skating but like if you like that that's a great winter activity to do also you could go all go all out and throw a holiday party I will link my video that I did last year on a holiday party down below if you want some inspiration for that it's just so nice when everyone comes home for the holidays and you can make these plans and see the people you don't necessarily see all that often but having these little like activities gets you more excited about it so just thought I'd mention that one so of course with the holidays after Christmas comes New Year's and I feel like I'm always so focused on Christmas that I always forget to make New Year's plans and everything's so much more expensive the later you book things. So having a dress on hand if you are planning on going out and also just having plans is so important and maybe it's something that you don't normally think of. I mean I'm sure for some of you it's like a really big top priority but for me personally I just like I always forget about it and then like a week before New Year's I'm like what are we doing? Like we have to do something. Um, so having those plans ahead of time is really smart and would keep you very organized, which I should probably do this year. And the last tip I have for you guys is to make a master Christmas movie list. And I think this is so important because I always forget about other holiday movies because I've always just watched the same holiday movie, which is my favorite, it's Santa Claus 2. Let me know what your favorite Christmas movie is in the comments down below because I want to know. But if you guys are the type of people that want to watch multiple movies and really get them in and like, you know, squeeze every ounce of like Christmas movie you can into the month, then I highly suggest making a master list of 
all the movies that you want to see and that way you can check them off and when you're having a chill night in or you're getting ready for things you can just pop on a Christmas movie and it's kind of fun. You can also do this for like just things you want to do during the holidays so having like a bucket list of all the things you want to do I always find that kind of fun and see how many you can actually get done during the month of December. But that's the last one. So that is pretty much everything I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Hopefully you guys are feeling a little bit more prepared, a little bit more excited for planning and organizing your holiday season. Again, I hope you just found this video helpful or fun to watch. If you did, give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it and leave me a comment down below what your favorite Christmas movie is because I do actually really want to know that so I can add them to my list. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do that before you leave. And I will chat with you guys in my next video, which will most likely be tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Have a great day. Bye.